everybody, it's Mayna, and I'm coming to you with Ink Fly Day. It's my favorite day of the year. This has actually been sitting here since yesterday or Wednesday. Today's, it's Friday night. Friday night slash Saturday morning when I'm recording this. And it's been sitting here for a couple of days and I haven't been able to record it, a video. Because I worked at work and then I worked at home today, but I have people home today. Well, I have people home lately when I haven't had people home, and so I'm unable to record videos like I normally would. So, a little late night ink flight unboxing, because I was like, I was about to go to bed, and then I was like, wait, I can record ink flight. So I'm here. We're recording ink flight. I'm so excited. So, as usual, my swatching supplies are going to be these coloring swatch cards. Um, and I'm also going to swatch it in my... Uh, 2022 Hobonichi. Um, I haven't gotten my uh, 2023 stuff yet. So, oh, that's actually a sneak peek of a video that I, a swatching video that may or may not be ruined, but I bought uh, some Mont Blanc inks and uh, this Violet Boreal. Here are the inks. Just a sneak preview of a video that will hopefully be coming soon. Um, and then I compared the Mont Blanc inks to the other Mont Blanc purples that I have, so that's what this is. Anyway, sneak peek! <laughs> and a new pen day that you may notice. Here, a sneak peek of the new pen day, too. This has nothing to do with ink light. But I will be swatching them in here. Can I do, do we have a like an available week where I can do this without like compromising anything? Pearl? Here, this has nothing. This is a clean week. We'll do it 2022. That's when we're going to do... Let me write this down. I don't even know what ink this is. This is a 30 inks. So, ink flight. January 2023. So, that's what... We'll do our Tomoe Reverse watches on here. And then, um... Yeah. And then we'll do our coloring cards like we always do. So yeah. Sorry if this is a little discombobulated. I was not prepared to be able to do this right now. But I'm seizing the opportunity. I have so much ink to swatch y'all. I have some I have pen friend inks to swatch. I have Obviously, will be the ink light. I have Van Diemen's inks to swatch. I got the Van Diemen's ink. Van Ness got them in stock. Okay, oh, we have a paper item. This is the only thing I've seen so far from the um, ink flight. This is everybody's um, thumbnail is like this really cute sticker. <laughs> okay, got all the goodies out. Okay, so the paper item is a notebook. It's an A5, 8mm lined, A5, 96 sheets, Usari notebook, lined. This is very nice. Maybe we'll do a writing sample. Here's the tag. Nakabayashi. Um, yeah. Eight millimeter lined notebook. This is a nice notebook. Might have to do like a quick writing sample on this at the end. Um, okay, let's uh, check our inks. See what we got for our inks. Okay. Come on, come on, ink light. Okay, I'm cutting the um, best part of the ink light, which is the piece of tape. I know Marie's always like excited about the piece of tape. I haven't watched any ink flight videos. I think I've seen like three or four ink flight videos go up, and I was like, I can't watch it. We have a rainbow of colors here, it looks like. What's our ink? Andorillium. Common Loon Black. Vampire Squid Red. This just looks like a basic red. I don't know. In 
indigo, bunting blue, cuttlefish brown, blue ringed octopus blue. Oh, I wish I had my Van Diemen swatches here. We'll have to compare those when I do the Van Diemen zincs. Flapjack octopus orange and colossal squid dark. Okay. Let's put these in order of the uh, paper. Okay, this month we didn't have to travel far to find good fountain pen ink. Based in Florida, Andorillium Inks produces handcrafted inks using sustainable, environmentally friendly materials. The team is passionate about protecting the oceans and wildlife, and it shows in the ink color names. So we have, first up, Andorillium Colossal Squid Dark. At first glance, this dark bluish teal looks black, just, just like... The deep twilight of the bathypelagic zone where the colossal squid lives. Cuttlefish brown. This color shifting sepia is inspired by the clouds of ink that cuttlefish deploy to evade predators. Oh, that label's a little low. And it doesn't want to go in my lyle holder. So I'm going to move it. Then we have Blue Ringed Octopus. This color ink is formulated to mimic the vibrant electric blue of the venomous Blue Ring Octopus. Vampire Squid Red. If you want a bright red that would make Dracula envious, inject Vampire Squid Red into your pen. Octopus Orange. Flapjack Octopus Orange. The storable orange flat. Jack octopus feeds on the ocean floor like a robot vacuum. Now I'm going to have to look up this animal. Um, indigo bunting blue. This medium toned blue is named after the night flying member of the cardinal family. And really common loon black. This black ink is inspired by the jet black white dappled feathers of an adult common loon. Alright, so you got a couple of blues, a brown, uh, possible teal black, who knows? Red or orange? Alright, let's go. Let's go, let's get started. Okay, so, um, like I said, swatching materials are my coloring cards. I have a Moon Man N6 glass dip pen. I have random craft store paint brushes. I have a cat trying to get up here. You are not a swatching material. Oh, hi. Pearl. <laughs> okay, uh, say hi to, say hi to, say hi to the pen people. They love it when you appear, but we really need to get started on our ink swatching. Thank you for knocking my glasses off my face. Appreciate that. Can you at least purr for them? You're not even going to purr? Hopefully the mic is picking that up. Okay. Alright, let's go little girl. Come here. Come here little girl. I love you, but no. I love you, but I can't, we can't snuggle right now. She's like, but it's bedtime. I don't care. Down. Down. <laughs> Sorry little girl. She's got cat hair all over the place. Alright. And I'm going to swatch this in my Hobonichi Weeks notebook, which is the cream to wear over paper, or ivory. I don't remember what the... I get the colors mixed up, because they call one cream and one ivory, and they're like the same. Like, one's white, one's cream, in my opinion. Okay. Hopefully the lighting is okay. It's very dark. It's, you know, middle of the night. If I turn the overhead lights on, though, we get, like, weird shadows. So, I'm trying to keep that to a minimum. So, yeah. Let's go ahead. I'm going to do them in order, even though starting with the dark one seems not a good idea. Because that's going to make the water real dirty. Okay, so this is Ink Flight. January 23. Can you believe it's 2023? How has your 2023 been going? I would like a redo. Oh, I didn't clean the section off. No, Pearl. No. No. Anderillium. No, Pearl, what are you doing? 
Colossal Squid Dark. How do you spell that? Colossal Squid Dark. <laughs> Pearl. There's a sticker on the corner of the table and she is not having it. Get down. Purple. <laughs> oh, I see what you're after. No, get down. I have a piece of crinkle plastic up here that I rescued from her clutches, and she's not happy about that. Pearl, behave. She's like, Mom, you're on my time. Pearl, what are you doing? Get down from there. This is like a teal black. It'll be interesting to see what this looks like when it dries. it is very dark I can't tell if the inks are dry or if I'm just not getting enough on the brush we're gonna do paintbrush swatches in the Hobonichi because I left my automatic pen by the sink and I don't feel like going to get it okay Next up, we have Cuttlefish Brown. And Rillium Cuttlefish Brown. This cat really said, I hear you talking and I'm going to go be as naughty as possible. Except I have to keep removing her because she's trying to eat phone cords and charger cables for important medical equipment. That, oh, I forgot to write the name. any more than that. Okay. This is a really nice brown. I don't know if it's like special, but it's a pretty brown. Oh, there's definitely like something happening here. Like there's, maybe it's just the way that it's drying. Can't wait to see what that looks like on the Tomoe River paper. It looks like I missed a spot, but I think it's just this card. Look, it looks completely different in the wet swatch versus the text. This is some bananas ink. Look! <laughs> it looks completely different. Okay. Bananas ink. Okay. Next up. We have blue ringed octopus blue. I've never tried these inks before, this brand. This looks like it's gonna be like a capri blue sort of turquoisey 
C color. I know the um, Van Diemen's version is very sheeny. I don't feel like that's gonna happen here, but I could be wrong. I could be wrong. 123. This was a really big dip too, so if it's gonna sheen, it's gonna sheen here. Gonna leave it as blue ringed octopus. We see, we can see that it's blue. These new coloring cards are kind of weird. This like new batch. I'm not sure how I feel about them. I feel like that's going to take forever to dry. Okay. Next up we have Vampire Squid Red. I'm going to flip flop. These swatches are like taking forever to dry, so I don't know what that means. It's like they're dry going onto the car, but then they take forever to dry. So I don't, I don't really know. I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how I feel about this. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. I like zoomed out a lot. Okay. It seems like it's just like a basic everyday red. And Aurelium. This is Vampire Squid. Squid Red. This looks like real, not red. I ruined it. Mm, yeah, mm -mm, this is okay. I don't know the price point on these inks, but it seems like it's just like a basic red, like a Lamy sort of red or I don't know, it's just a basic red. It actually kind of leans sort of pinky. Reminds me a touch of Cozy Up from the Diamine Ink Vent a little bit, at least in the this lighter spots right here. I don't think it's intended to be quite that pink, but I could be wrong. Let's swatch it and see what happens. I did not 
not dip that at all. Okay. Yeah, this seems like just like a basic red. I think if you were going to do like a basic red, I would go with like a Lamy red or even like a, the Waterman red. I mean, it's still drying, so, you know, never make the, reserve the final judgment for the dried swatches, but, um, yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of unsaturated. Like I said, I don't know the price point on these inks, so maybe it's not that big of a deal. Um, like, they are handmade inks in Florida, so I don't know what that means for the price point, but yeah. Andrillium Flapjack Octopus Orange. This is like, looks like it's kind of an intense... It's a, it reminds me, okay, I, this is like pretty, probably US centric, but like, do you remember like when you were a kid and you're like, if you had like a cold or something, your mom would give, well, at least my mom would give me, she was big into like the triminic and like the orange was, was the best tasting one. So I was, if I got, if I had to get sick and I had to take medicine, I always wanted the orange triminic. I, I know they were like good for different things, but the orange one. Like if I had to take medicine, I was willing to take the orange one. If it wasn't the orange triminic, forget it. Uh, but that's like the vibe it's given me, cause that sh that coated the like little medicine tube. Uh, oh gosh, okay, we've got too much ink on here. Okay, try that. Okay, ink flight one twenty three. See, off the glass dip pen, it's like flowing super nicely, but when I do the paint swatches, it's like a different story. And really in flap, jack, orange, octopus. I think it's octopus orange, flap jack octopus orange. This one looks like it's like spreading a whole lot. So I don't know if that's the card or if that's the ink. What is it? Flap, flapjack octopus orange game? Okay. This is really wet like the blue ringed octopus was. Or just like, it's, I mean it was literally dripping off the nib. This seems like it's a pretty wet ink. It's even kind of ghosting on the card. I don't think you can see that. But it's not quite ghosting, but it looks like it. If I lay the ink down pretty thick, I bet we could get some of that. I know some, some noodlers inks like sort of eat through the card. We're going to try it. We're going to use one of our ink drinking brushes we'll see what happens I like how this feels like I said this seems like a pretty wet ink it coats everything way I just like tilted this was very dangerous. Okay. Next up we have Indigo Bunting Blue. This looks like it's going to be like one of those dusty sort of blues that I like. 
not having seen it, it's in the running for my favorite. Let's like move that a little bit. Indigoium, indigo, bunting, blue. Yes. I like this one a lot. Like I said, having not actually seen this ink, it's in the running as my favorite. And just in the writing, I love it already. It's really dry even on like the tumble over paper. Okay. Very nice. I like the grayish aspect of the writing when it's dry. Good stuff. Then we have common loon black which I'm assuming is going to be a black of some kind, a black ink of some kind. The question is, is it going to be like black or is it going to lean gray? In the writing. We'll see. We will see. I'm going to wipe this off section kind of looks a little grayish on the paper towel but we'll see we'll reserve judgment for the writing okay looks like black ink and a really yum and this is common loon black Oh, that looks like a black ink. The writing looks black, but it dries like this, it's drying like this, like, grayish color. Normally I would be mad at that, especially since it says black, but I like this color. We'll see what it looks like once it's fully dry, though. We'll see what, it's a transition. Gray is not black, though. I love the text though. I love the way it looks in the writing. Okay, so while that's drying, let me 
tap my glass dip pen. Let's do like a quick little writing sample in our little notebook. I don't, it doesn't say what kind of paper it is. Let's see if the card says something. For decades, Naka, Nakabashi, Nakabayashi produced high-end fountain pens and other office tools, leaning on this experienced Japanese stationery maker, introduced a premium notebook for use with fountain pens and rollerball ink. The Usari notebook contains quality ruled paper, eight millimeter spacing, so you can write with big, thick, big, bold strokes. Glide your pen over its thick eggshell colored paper, write comfortably on 192 smooth textured pages. It's an all-purpose notebook that feels luxurious to the touch. Since this uh, notebook is, contains a substantial volume of pages, we recommend using it throughout 2023. Write a half page every day, use it to log workouts. Copy your favorite book to practice your handwriting, and then the Inktopus sticker is a cute chibi version of our cephalopod mascot that we use as the ink journal profile picture. So actually I love the sticker, it's very cute. Um, let's do a little writing. I mean, it lays, the paper lays flat. That's nice. I have to get a cat. Pearl, I swear to Jesus. Get down. Get down. You even know you're not supposed to be up here because of the way you're acting. Come here. You're being so naughty. You're being so naughty. You're being so naughty. A dot marker, I have a gel pen. Let's see what else I have that we can write with. I have a sound pen. I think this might be another gel pen. Okay, we'll write with these for now. Okay, Rack. I also found a pencil. Oh, do I have a ballpoint? Oh, I do. We have a ballpoint. And a mild liner. It's not exactly a mild liner, but it's basically a mild liner. I should cap this ink, though. Let's do a little writing sample of our of our pens here. So we have the clean dot marker. That's the dot section. This is metallic red. We have a Propus highlighter in aqua. It's like a mild highlighter, but we'll do we'll just say Propus window aqua. I love using this in the Hobonichi and I love that the window helps you like see where you're highlighting. We have the jet stream. O5 black. O5 blue. Red. Another gel pen. This 
is an Energel. I think it's the gray one. Yep. Gray. 07. We have a Pelican. Five. I don't remember the ink. It's either Sailor Alaska, Sailor Alaska, maybe. I don't think it's Appetite. I think I have Appetite in a different pen. Um, I have a pencil. This is a monograph 05. Let's see if this erases. I hate using this eraser, but oh it does it erases very nicely, although that was wet still. So good to know. It takes a moment to dry. What else do I have here? I have a marker. Mystery ink of some kind. I don't remember. This was also from a 30 inks, I think. Um, The Eco Medium. What else I got laying around here? Anything else? Oh, you didn't see any of those. Um, that's empty. That's empty. These are all empty. Okay. That's what I have sitting here right now. So that's what we'll that's what we'll go with. So yeah. So definitely, fountain pen ink takes some time to dry. I would say you get a little bit of ghosting. I got a little ghosting on this ink and on the clean dot marker, but nothing's bleeding through. Definitely ghosting on that and then whatever that ink is, but. Oh, another thing. The uh, ballpoint isn't, it doesn't like get those ridges on the back. Nice, this is really nice paper. It's really smooth. Nice. I like it. Okay, so we did, okay, because I closed it and this was still wet. So, yeah. The Twisby Eco, whatever's in the Twisby Eco, dried pretty good. But yeah. I'm not really seeing a lot of the metallic on this clean dot marker. Maybe a little bit. It's usually a little bit more shiny. Okay, let's take a look at our swatches real fast. Move these. Yeah, this is a really nice notebook. When I'll get around to using it, I have no idea, but yeah, it has really nice paper. And uh, yeah. Love a good notebook. Okay, my swatches have gotten all messed up because my cat is driving me up a wall. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm missing one. Seven. Okay. Here's our Hobonichi swatches. The Colossal Squid Dark is still drying in this one spot. Looks like we could get some sheen in this one spot. Cuttlefish Brown. This ink is like baffling to me. It almost looks blue. It almost has like a blue sheen. In the text, it's like a bluish haze that's like over the brown. I don't know. This is bananas. It's weird. Blue ring octopus does have more like a haloing sort of sheen around it. It was really wet in the writing here. Um, I don't see it so much on the swatch. There's like maybe some a little on the edge, but maybe it was like not as wet of a swatch as I thought it was. Uh, Vampire squid red seems to have some sheen where more more ink glide down. Um, Flapjack Octopus Orange doesn't seem like it has really 
It might have a teeny tiny bit of like red sheen where this is still drying, where there's a lot of ink, but it doesn't seem to be very, uh, very sheeny. This swatch is like weird to me. I don't like the way it looks in the swatch, but I love the way it looks in the writing. And then Common Loon Black looks black in the writing, but the swatch is definitely like a dark gray, I would say. It looks like it does have some kind of sheen that sort of makes it look black, but it, I'm not displeased with it. Do we get any bleed through or anything? Some here, again, that was a really pretty wet application. And we do where I laid it down, the orange right here, and that teal up there. Okay. Um, let's see, here is our Colossal Squid Dark. This finally dried. It still could use a little time, but there's a little bit of like halo where some of the dark, some of the heavier ink spots are, but yeah, definitely tealy black. Definitely getting that vibe from it. Um, next up we have that Cuttlefish Brown. The lighter bit of brown is really nice, and then it looks like it looks black. It's like a brown with like a black sort of thing, but like the text to me still looks sort of blue. So this is like a weird, this is a weird sheen sort of situation. It's not like, yeah, I don't know. This is this is an interesting one to me. Um, next up, we have blue ringed octopus, standard turquoisey blue. Um, we do see a little bit of that haloing around that scribble where a lot of ink went down. And I see it along the edge here, um, where the swatch started. So there's that. Then we have that vampire squid red. Some sheen. It looks like it's more of a halo sheen here around the scribble. So maybe perhaps when you're writing, it's not going to be super sheeny. Um, I didn't really see, it looked really washed out here. Oh, uh, maybe like a halo. That P and vampire is a little, a little halo-y sheen around the edge. Um, again, this reminds me of like just your basic red ink. You could get that like anywhere. Um, the flapjack octopus orange. This orange is intriguing for some reason. I don't know why I like this, but I like this. <laughs> It's very bright. It's a little traffic cony, not quite as neon, but it's just a, it's just an orange. It's a very wet orange. You could see that even in the Tumblr River paper. And as you could see, it was one of the last ones to dry. I mean, it was a later swatch, but honestly, I've had to pause a lot to like take care of cats. And this video has been very long. So, um, yeah, the fact that it's still drying here is kind of miraculous. Um, next up we have that indigo bunting blue. I like this watch on the card. Um, I really, really, really like the writing. Reminds me a little bit of Pennsylvania, but not quite as dark. Sailor Pennsylvania also kind of reminds me, makes me think of like Birmingham. I don't know which Birmingham, but just like, yeah, just like this dusty, this dusty, I like the dusty blues. Um, if you've been here, you know that. Um, and then we have this Common Loon Black, which really just looks like a dark gray to me. I like the shade of gray, so I'm not really quite mad at it. Um, the scribble looks like it has that uh, sort of like a darker sheen around it. It looks almost bronzy around the edges. Um, I don't know if you can see that. I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but I can see it in person. Oh yeah, it's really pretty. It's not a black, it's a dark gray to me. So if I was looking for a black ink, this would not be one that I would go to. Um, I have blacker black inks that I enjoy. Hi Pearl, you no, you've caused enough trouble today. We're not saying hi to, we're not saying hi to the pen people. You had your chance earlier. Um, if I had to pick favorites, I would say I'm most intrigued by Indigo Bunting Blue, this Flapjack Orange, and the Cuttlefish Brown. They seem to be very interesting to me. Um, this one's nice too, and I think people are going to like it, but I, it's, eh, eh, I don't know. It's giving Lamy Petrol vibes, and I have Lamy Petrol. I'd rather use that, I think. So, 
Thanks, pal. All right. Can I finish the video? We're almost done. She's telling me to go to bed, I think. Anyway, I hope that you enjoyed this ink fight. Um, I, as always, I love the surprise of the ink fight. I enjoy... Okay, no, you need to get down. I enjoy the surprise. I enjoy opening the box. I enjoy swatching the inks. I enjoy finding our goodies. Sticker. Notebook. Um, one last thing. Here's our paper towel chromatography. This is that squid dark. And this is the cuttlefish brown. I love how the cuttlefish brown looks. Um, Blue ring octopus is just, there was a little bit of like stuff and threads. on. So this dark spot I think is inaccurate. This is more accurate. There's the red. There's the orange again. Reminds me of like a traffic cone or like I said that kids uh, medicine. The bunting blue, I like that a lot. And then our uh, common loon black, which just even, on, even here just looks like a dark gray. I like this color though. Again, if I was looking for a black, this would not be a one I would reach for, but if I was looking for a gray, I'd definitely be all over it. So yeah, there we go. Let me know what you think. Are you, did you get this box? Are you excited about it? Um, are you sad you missed it? I'm not sure. Like, yeah, let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think about this box. Um, I'm not sure if um, Ink Flight, Ink Journal is still out of Ink Flights or not. I know that they were for a while. Um, I have linked to their shop on in the description box. So if you are interested in this box, you can check it out, see if they have any available or if you can sign up for a subscription if you want to. Um, they do have a coupon code for free shipping. I believe it's Come Fly With Me. Um, it says it on their website, I believe, or it used to. I don't know if it still does, but it used to. Um, so yeah, I would check there. Um, I get nothing from it if you decide to sign up. Um, but yeah, if, if you decide to sign up, I think that'd be great. And if you decide to make a video about it, even better. <laughs> so yeah, we have had quite a few, um, new, uh, Ink Flight joiners and ink flight slash video makers so or content creators i guess you should, should say so i will um try to link some of their videos in the description box so you can check them out if you'd like to i know dormouse did one um the joy of pens and paper i think that's her channel name erin um there's also another one uh, i can't think of the name right now but we've, we've had a few new um, ink journal or, or ink flighters pop up. So I'm really excited to like watch their videos now that I've been able to open my box. <laughs> Maria posted her video today as well. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. And um, I will see you in the future with um, a swatching video of some kind. We have lots, we have lots to go over. Um, and yeah, and yeah. It's so good to be playing with ink again. Um, this 2023 has been a year. I know it just started, but it has been a year. I hope that you are having a lovely beginning of the new year. And um, yeah, I will see you again very soon. Take care. Love you. Bye.